So welcome back to the iChampion video series. This video series is designed to show you how to quickly and efficiently utilize this new program in your practice. We will show you step by step how we use this program on our patients. This particular video is covering the iChampion test and in particular the visual memory component, the very first test. As you can see there's five different tests in our program but we're going to focus on this video on just this top one for now. So visual memory, double click on visual memory, it's going to show you a series of numbers the patient has to remember, has to recall, and then has to tell you what they are. So let's get started. Press spacebar to begin, shows the first number. Patient's got to recall, keep that number in their head. They then have to tell you where is a particular shape. So here's the blue triangle. Is it left, right, or center? This is a distraction. So they now have to tell you what that number was. If they get it wrong, that shows you one number again. If you get it right, you get to see two. So let's say the patient got that one correct. It'll now go to three. Okay, let's say the patient got three incorrect. It'll do three numbers again. If the patient gets this one correct this time, it will now go on to four numbers. And let's say now they start getting them incorrect. So this particular patient can't do four numbers in a row. Okay, so it tells them here that the maximum they got in a row was three. Click OK. It now works out their percentile ranking based on their age. So based on an eight-year-old, getting three in a row puts them on the 12th percentile. So that's it for running the visual memory test. Uh, just to reiterate, later on you can do this test five times and on this graph here you'll see the five scores appearing one after the other. So it makes it very easy for you to show how the patient has improved by using uh, your vision therapy protocols. To repeat any other further tests, just click on back to home, the other tests appear, and you can now click on any one of those other tests to repeat the test. I'm going to do visual memory again, just to show you what it looks like when you have those multiple scores on the one graph and how wonderful that looks to the patient and to the parents. So we're just going through this here, just to give it another result so we can show you on the graph what it looks like. And let's say they start getting these ones wrong. Okay, so now this particular patient got to a score of four. So here on the graph you can see how the first test we only got three correct and they were on the 12th percentile and with four correct they're on the 23rd percentile. Down the bottom it has the dates. So if this was done on different dates you could show the parent how on the pre-test date they were on the 12th percentile and later on during therapy or after therapy they've improved to the 23rd percentile. And of course this graph can be provide five different results. So it allows you plenty of results to show the parent how the child has improved. So to do other tests, go click on back to home and there are the other tests available for you to do. All right, so that's running the visual memory test and I'm gonna do other videos to show you how to do the other four. Okay, thank you, goodbye.